Hello, welcome. My name is Emily. This will be an update in the project Happy Hour Project Pan. And I just realized that my lip color was a little bit dull. So I'm gonna put on some more lip gloss. It's the Steve Lavon in. Um, I always, always forget what it's called. Is it classic red or something? I don't remember. And it's so easy to put it outside the lips. Anyway, this is a project started by Danny and Deb. And it's all about liquor, uh, drinks, um, beer, wine, and so on. It's fun. I, I like things like that. <laughs> it's fun. I'm doing it a bit different than it's supposed to be done. Uh, it's supposed to be a roulette style. Um, it's a year long project. I didn't say that. And it starts on National Happy Hour Day and ends the same day. So, and that's in November. And you're supposed to have five at a time. And I am doing it progressive. And I'm doing it from one, two, three, four, and so on. So, when I roll something out, I um, roll something in, but I al also roll something in even though I don't roll anything out. So, for example, this time I have three rollouts and I'm going to roll in four because three for the replacements and one for just because it's fun. And uh, I'm aiming to have ten or less, not more than ten. At a time and now I will be up to one two three four five six seven eight nine so I have a little bit of room still the end is first uh, number three old-fashioned an older item in your collection and I picked a very old item <laughs> it's from Paese it's an eyeshadow from a little trio called Luxus 103 the shade was dark brown and I'm finally done with it so glad it's so rare that I finish something. The trio looked like this and now it's all gone. I already have counted this as gone last year <laughs> because I was so tired of seeing this, but now it's going into the into spin. I'm glad. Uh, it contained a sh three mats, one um, like beige, off-white, and one middle ranged, so it was a good little palette. But I'm very happy about that, and I finished 0.18 grams since the last update, so it wasn't much left, but I managed to finish it, and I used it 14 more times, and that uh, is 66 in total for this project. I think I had pan already when I brought it in. Then we have for Well Liquor, uh, something inexpensive, and I put in a very inexpensive shower gel from NoFo, Nordic NoFo Formula Soft Pearls Shower Gel, and this is done. I was here, and this contains very much water, so it was easy to finish, but I, I, um, I have two shower gels that I'm using, um, and I try to, but now that that when this is gone i can concentrate on the other one so that's good the last empty is not an empty it's just a usage goal that i reached this fix and row i always say rogue and that's because i heard it <laughs> the first time i heard this brand i heard someone say rogue rouge or um i don't know fix and rouge anyway uh, fortify serum kind of thing um, it's for an exp top shelf liquor expensive or fancy item blue buffer blue light protection this costs 42 pounds and that's quite a lot um, I used it 40 times and I did manage to do a little new red line there but it's not it's not much but I, at least I tried it out and um, I will continue to use this further on and now I have other things I want to concentrate on but I used this and a serum actually because that is supposed to be something else who knows I don't know if it does anything either but 
if it can be good i i will use it i got it in a subscription box so yeah now on to the list with the products products that i'm using still first one happy hour an item you got on sale and i picked something i got on in a subscription box which is kind of on sale that pay us uh, um high rise powder and i haven't measured it like this <laughs> I always do like this and I don't know really why but it seems so like I have so little left I actually thought I could finish this but I couldn't uh, I didn't travel with this and I was away for five days and then I actually didn't wear my makeup for the last I wore makeup today and yesterday but before that it was like five days that I didn't wear makeup because it was snow storm here in Stockholm and um, I uh, kept a dog I uh, helped someone to um, yeah take care of a dog while she was away it it isn't Charlie it is another dog and he um, is a big dog so he had to go out for walks all the time and it wasn't any point to do my makeup because I would look crazy if I had so yeah so this little thing is left I really hope I can finish it for the next time I think it's a bit cakey and I don't like loose powders so I really hope to finish it but we will see I have used that <clears throat> sorry uh, 15 times and in total 61 times and I have used a uh, Mm, oh uh, yeah two grams a little bit more than two grams since the last update then we have for four number four cheers a product in a glass packaging and i picked the ordinary caffeine solutions for eyes and i really struggle with this i use it every day but it seems to go very very slow and i didn't do a new line no i didn't we have a new line Last time it was so, yeah, but it's better this time. So that's good. I didn't travel with this because it's a glass bottle and I don't really need it. But we have a new line there. So that's good. But the month before was when I was sick two times. So um, this I actually count uses on. Uh, I don't do that with skincare, but for some reason I do that with this. I used it 21 times so that was all the days except for when I was traveling and maybe I missed Sunday I don't know um, but in total 93 times and I suppose it's the first line so 93 times so this will be here for a few more months I have used up almost three grams of this so and I don't like that. It's so messy and the bottle is so strange. I I don't like that. It's nothing wrong with the product itself. But I prefer an eye cream and I'm very pleased to use an eye cream and that's it. So I really hope to get it done sooner than later. Then uh, number six, daiquiri. A fruit themed item. I picked the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in Moroccan Rose. I don't mark this. But I did the last time, I see now. <laughs> um, I suppose I could mark it again, but I have like this. Um, the scent of this is not my favorite. It isn't bad, but it's not, it's a bit too intense. Um, I guess I could mark it like maybe down here or something. It's hard because it's uneven, but we I will mark it there. And I don't count uses on that one, uh, but I have used up, um, let me see if I can count backwards, uh, 94 grams since the last one. I don't have much left, but I, I almost only use it on, the, on my feet. So once in a while I use it all over my body, of course. It, I can use up more then but we will see then nine tipsy a product you have a difficult time pronouncing and i picked the carven don mobile uh, i don't have uh, hard to pronounce it now because i looked it up 
Um, it's a perfume, it's a rollerball, and as you can see, I used up quite a lot this time, and that's because I traveled with this, and I tend to use only this, but I, I actually have another perfume in a project that I don't use as much because I want this gone. It's okay, not maybe a favorite, but it's nicer after a while, but it doesn't stay that well. So it seems like I'm almost halfway, not quite, but almost. So we will see how, how far I can get to the next month. I used up two grams, a bit more than two grams. <clears throat> Damabyl means in, in my own bubble. In English. Then drunk shopping, something you don't know what possessed you to buy it. And I picked the Paris Berlin Maquillage, Paris Berlin Professional. This little, I know what possessed him. I, I explained it last time, but <laughs> it was kind of unnecessary. Uh, it's in the shade 01 and I use it as a liner and my goal was just to use it 20 times. I have used it 10 times. So I have it on today, but I only put it like in the um, outer corner of my eye, top eyelashes. It's okay, but it kind of runs down, so it's not the best. But I will use it 10 more times. I have used up 0 0.03 grams of that, so not much. Then we will come to the new things. Number 11 was Sex on the Beach, Dirty Dirty. Uh, something sex themed and I, I had such a hard time with this one. I couldn't find anything, but in the end I could find a, a blush from Tarte, the Amazonian clay 12 hour blush in Seduce. That was kind of good, wasn't it? I just want to use it 20 times. <clears throat> it looks like that. I have used it, but not much. And... Um, I will swatch it for you. It's more of a, yeah, I don't know, uh, like a neutral to pink coral kind of shade. I don't know. It's fine. I hope it is fine. <laughs> we'll see. I'm working on a very pink blush right now that I really want to concentrate on, but... 20 times I can spread it out. It's fine. Uh, <clears throat> then we have for keg. I think you pronounce it like keg. Uh, it's... I looked it up because I didn't know what that meant. But now I know. It's like a big um, a thing you have beer in, for example. A big wooden or steel or thing. Um, in Sweden we call it kagge. So it's kind of the same, or tunna, maybe. But um, an item in bulky packaging or a large quantity of product. And I picked this, the Bedhead Tiggy, Tiggy, Urban Antidotes, Resurrection, and lots of other information here. Shampoo, number three, this one. I am down here. And I need to have this done soon. I use other products now. I like this a lot actually. But the conditioner is almost done. And I like to have the same conditioner and shampoo. So hopefully I can. This is big. This is, But it's not uh, 1000 milliliters. It's actually only 750. But it's, it's quite big as you can see. So that I want to finish. And I think it's a bit boring because I bring in other, I don't bring in, I only bring in this makeup product, but I couldn't find the right things. <clears throat> we have for craft beer, an item from an indie brand. And if this is not an indie brand, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I couldn't find anything that um, said that it wasn't. It's the natural hair mask repairing from from organic shop. This one I've had it in a in the project Fifty Shades of Green, and I didn't finish it. And since then, I only use it once, I think. So I marked it here and hope to finish it because I have so many masks that I need to use. 
And the last one is for Mojito, something with a mint flavor or scent. And I had a hard time for this too, because I don't bring in lip products in this project or any other product than the Partners in Cream, because that is all lip products. So I, I searched and searched and this one, the Mario Badescu Glycolic Gel, has been in a project. It was A to C last year and I didn't finish it. And it's the same thing. I don't use it if it's not in a project and I need to use it up because I have two more, not the same brand, but two more glycolic, glycolic gels. Oh, I, I don't. But I'm there and um, this takes forever <laughs> because I only use it twice a week. You shouldn't use it more often and I'm not sure I need it or anything. But the mint connection with this is that it looks like mint, doesn't it? Mint? Yeah? Toothpaste? Toothpaste? I can't, f I can't smell anything, but I thought it was a bit minty looking. That will do. <laughs> it, it will be fine. So that's it. For the next update, we will see. What can I do? I can... Um, have my uses 10 more on this one I really hope I can finish this one it would be so nice to have that done then this one maybe but I'm not sure it's not as much as it look, looks from the side you know the, the jar is domed here so maybe but it's, I'm not worried if I don't. So at least two empties next time, I really hope. That was it. Um, thank you, Danny and Deb, for this fun project. I like it a lot. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you don't, don't already. And please comment down below. It's fun to talk to you. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.